animals are spirits and dinosaurs were animals, which means that dinosaurs were spirits. So the question is, where are the spirits of the dinosaurs who died after the asteroid impact? Um, an asteroid allegedly impacted the Earth, ending the life of around 75% of the dinosaurs in here. So uh, the reason why these dinosaurs died was because, not only because of the impact, but because it produced a, a cloud of fumes on Earth around 66 million years, right? So we're talking about a lot of time in here. Um, they basically disappeared from the Earth. So it's just a, a very large number of spirits who left their physical body. And where do they go? Obviously, animals, they do reincarnate because spirits reincarnate. When they are in the physical plane, they normally reincarnate after death. Uh, it depends, you know, right after death or after a few years, whatever, but they will reincarnate. So those dinosaurs, they couldn't reincarnate right after, right? And why would they die so many at once? Well, so those dinosaurs, they were, most of them, they were part of what we call uh, a spirit group. I would say most of them, they were part of this collective soul, collective spirit, which means that there's a group of animals that function as one spirit. So when one dies, they don't normally reincarnate right after. That energy, that information migrates back to the group and eventually that group reincarnates in one single animal. Dinosaurs, they were most of them reptiles, right? So reptiles, they normally have this very primitive brain. They don't really formulate a lot of thoughts or emotions. So we are talking about very primitive souls. When those animals died, uh, they were sent to another planet uh, as spirits. So they reincarnated there. When I say reincarnated, they didn't necessarily reincarnate in this physical uh, universe. They might have reincarnated in another plane, in another frequency, in another universe, right? So to say. So they were exiled to another planet. Personally, I think that that planet was Jupiter, but let's get back to Jupiter later. In this other planet, um, those animals, they had to evolve um, and continue that progress towards enlightenment. So uh, they reincarnated as some sort of dinosaurs back then, um, but they were less animalized. So they had more chance to um, progress in other fields uh, and not only in the fields of, you know, procreating and eating, procreating and eating, procreating and eating. Obviously, we are talking about uh, some sort of a spiritual progress that endured millions of years. We are talking about a lot of time. So those animals, those dinosaurs, they had the chance to progress, to evolve and reincarnate in those other planes, in those other planets for millions of years as dinosaurs, as animals, and eventually they migrated to another uh, species where they could then progress until they migrated to another group of beings. Everyone who is a spirit will eventually uh, achieve enlightenment and this progress, this never ceases, this never stops. Even God is evolving, is expanding, everything is growing forever. Nobody's ever, you know, reaching a point of uh, enlightenment and staying there, right? Jesus, Buddha, all of them are growing, are evolving, right? So the most primitive animal will also evolve forever. So those animals, dinosaurs, they did, right? Uh, and they're still evolving. However, today they are enlightened beings. They are not animals today. They are not today's reptiles so when you see a crocodile or a snake or some sort of lizard they are not the dinosaurs of back then we are talking about six six million years we're talking about a lot of time so this is plenty of time for one spirit to migrate to another species and to develop some sort of thinking and 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 emotions and feelings it's not that you know it takes less than six six million years for any spirit to progress and reach enlightenment. But I'm saying that six, six million years is pretty much some good amount of time that one particular species has to develop something or to migrate to another species. And that's why today they are not reptiles. 
So are humans today uh, the reincarnation of any dinosaur? And the answer is no for two reasons. So the first reason is because reptiles, they are in this parallel uh, evolution, right? When it comes to uh, spiritual enlightenment. So reptiles will not reincarnate as humans. They will reincarnate in a parallel path uh, and eventually, you know, reach the same place as us, but not as humans. So they will not pass, uh, you know, a, a while of that evolution as humans and then eventually become something else. Another reason is that, uh, as I said, those dinosaurs, uh, most of them, they are enlightened beings. When I say enlightened beings, I'm talking about something that's higher than humans, but not necessarily too much enlightened. I'm not talking about they are, you know, Jesus or something like that. They are probably a lot less evolved than Jesus, but they are more evolved than most humans here on planet Earth. Remember, dinosaurs, they were dinosaurs back then. They are not dinosaurs now. Those spirits have evolved and they have migrated from one species to another because they became other types of animals in those other places and eventually they acquired some sort of endemic uh, figure, some sort of like humanoid figure. So apparently Jupiter was the responsible for attracting the asteroid to planet Earth. So um, I believe that after that, maybe those spirits in here were sent to uh, Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter today is a uh, very much progressed, happy planet. Obviously, I am talking about another plane. I'm not talking about the physical plane. If you go today in the physical plane of Jupiter, you're not gonna find life, I believe. But we are not talking about the physical plane. This is just one plane. There are all the planes. We are talking about all the frequencies. We are talking about the spiritual world and its layers. So I am not talking about the physical world. Mars as well, is it's a regenerated planet, very happy planet, Venus. But I'm not talking about the physical Venus, the physical Mars. Today's reptiles are not the uh, reincarnation of those uh, dinosaurs, but they are somehow related to them in terms of physiology. You know, so obviously, as I said, not all dinosaurs died back then, and some of them are today still in here in their genes. So, you know, the sharks, uh, lizards, you know, birds, they are related to dinosaurs, but only in terms of uh, physical aspect. They are not related in terms of spirit. And neither was the spirits of lizards today or sharks today made at the same time as those dinosaurs. Can you imagine a spirit, you know, being a shark or a group of spirits, you know, being a shark for over a hundred million years that there's no point because it doesn't take that that long. So the spirits of dinosaurs today are enlightened, which means that they're slightly higher in, in their constitution as humans are, but they're not necessarily, you know, on the top of the top. And um, we don't know where they are because there's no such thing as space when it comes to that type of evolution. Here in the physical plane, uh, it's very easy for us to calculate space because we then count the kilometers or the miles and then we know where you are or we say a particular spot uh, in the universe and like we say oh you know he is there she is there it is there but when it comes to other dimensions time and space is a bit different i don't believe that those dinosaurs are on planet earth as spirits and i believe that they might be in jupiter in one of the layers of the astral sphere so one planet, like one sphere, uh, does not only have one plane of existence outside the physical realm, they might have many others. I mean, they actually do have many others, even here, the planet Earth. When you, um, let's say that you go on astral projection, you leave your physical body, right? You might see something around you. If you change your frequency, you see something different, right? So this is another layer right? So this is another reality. And then if you change it, so it goes like that, right? And the further away you get from this fear, uh, more, let's say, enlightened is their um, surface, is that place. I believe dinosaurs might be in one of those of Jupiter. This opinion about Jupiter is very personal. So, you know, don't take that. But the spirits of dinosaurs who were animals, they are in a better place than we are right now.